back guys and today is a very special day in the season of the average day outdoors is we're making our way to Wyoming because it is elk tag time hopefully we'll all be able to get uh, tagged out but I can tell you one thing Demerick and I we're gonna be relentless we're gonna be relentless we got we're hauling out the tent and everything and we're making the most of it hopefully we'll have roughly I think eight solid days of hunting. So uh, we're gonna get out. We got cow tags, we're breaking the ice on some elk hunting. I personally have never gone elk hunting, so more than excited, a little anxious, never done it, so. Um, but here we go. We're driving out, we're right now, we're on the way to Billings, Montana, where we just went through Glen Dive and uh, going out to Wyoming. So it's still got a little bit ahead of us, but we're planning on making the most of the road trip. Uh, enjoying ourselves a little bit I'd say and uh, we're gonna get in late and then I think we're gonna head up into the mountain early in the morning and hopefully the next next bit of film will be setting up camp and maybe getting some elk off the ground so stick with us and hopefully we can lay some big mamas down it's morning time it's too early that's a loud truck We're hitting the gas station, getting some stickers for the four wheelers because we forgot it happens. Don't say it doesn't. But uh, we're gonna get after it. We're driving out. We're gonna get to the base of the mountains here in hopefully about 45 minutes. And then it's a long trek up. And which should take us, how long to get up the mountain? I've never done it before, so I don't know. Fair enough, good answer, good answer. I like the not lying. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get to it. Start setting up camp. Probably show you some footage going up the apparently treacherous trail. And as soon as camp's set up, these two boys are going hunting. Oh yeah. We're gonna stop to get all the information for the four-wheelers. Wyoming is uh, very serious about their stickers, so we need the VIN numbers, the years, the models, all that good stuff. Soon enough, we'll be there. <laughs> We're on our way. Demerick's gotta make a pit stop real quick. Gotta take a poopy, but that's okay. <laughs> We're almost there. A little bit of snow up here. Oof. It's gonna make for some cold mornings. Well, we're taking this super duper kind of back roadsy trail to get camp set up. We got our nice wall tent and everything we're gonna try and set up. Yeah, I know I don't have my seatbelt on, but it really went from such an arid, just like almost badlandsy type feel to like just woods. And it is so gorgeous out here. This is just, just a treat to be out here. Hopefully we're gonna get everything set up fairly quickly to where we can go out this afternoon and do some scouting and looking and, and possibly shooting. Who knows, you know, that'd be wild tag out first day. But um, goodness gracious, it is just beautiful. And you know, the only thing is if this camper, hopefully the camper don't die on the way out. I'm just kidding, I don't think it'll die, but it is rough, this road's rough. So keep posted, stay with us and uh, we're gonna get to it. I am absolutely jazzed, and I think so is everybody else. This drive is wild. This might be reckless for me to be filming while driving, but I tell you what, I don't know how they found this, but kudos to whoever came through and just has been driving and driving and driving and driving to make even this bit of a trail because good lord when they talk about going off the beaten path this is it. and i'm 
I'm not even filming in the sketchy stuff right now because just about five, ten minutes ago we were driving through like a foot of mud in between all these trees. <laughs> oh, having a good time though. All I can say is these guys are uh, they're go getters. They're go getters. Well, we're about here. All I can say is it's not not I guess what I expected, but it's more than I expected. Absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna go find our situated area. Cause we're like right on the spot. We just need to find a good location for the tent. Go from there. I think I'm gonna take pictures here for a little bit. It is just absolutely pretty over here. So and then I'm on like this rock ledge. It's kind of crazy. Straight up. Well, we're at it folks. The apex. We're basically done setting up. I still gotta get my personal stuff set up, but the community is set up. So we're gonna get after it. I think we have a few more things we gotta do. And then we got the casa. Got our stoves, bunk beds. Should be a fairly comfortable stay, and tonight I believe we're gonna hike out to a spot that the guys who have been hunting here call the, the saddle. And I think we're just gonna try and sit and see what we can get done. And hopefully, God willing, nice, nice outcome walking out and we can get one on the first day. And here we go. We're off to go to a hiking trail to hike in. I believe it's about a mile and a half hike. Mile and a half hike to get out there. And then we're uh, got some intel from people that have been out and about that uh, the elves like to come through there in the evening. In fact, one of our guys that are out here uh, shot his elk out there last last time they're out apparently. So we're gonna go hike in and sit. Join us. Oh. here at our spot we're gonna go we're gonna go hike in get some uh, get a couple miles on the boots and see if we can't sit down we're gonna get comfy down in the bottom of this valley and uh, I suppose sun's in your eyes and hopefully like I said this has been a good spot in the past winds blowing in our face right now so be perfect wind Hopefully we'll have some elk coming through exploring and uh, we can do what we gotta do. But that's that's the big thing is like this, these, what, eight or nine days of hunting, cause we have days of travel and stuff too. Are gonna, we're gonna push it. We're gonna go hard. We're trying to fill these tags. So we're gonna get it done, man. We're gonna get it done. If we don't get it done, we're gonna, no, ain't nobody out there gonna be able to tell me we didn't try. So Denver's hooking up, he grab his rifle. Did you pull the key out of this? Yeah, I got it. Cool. We're gonna you head out. Back with me, otherwise you're stuck out here in the wilderness. There you go. Just met up with one of the ranchers. He's riding his dirty bike, and he actually had a big old moose paddle on his uh, front of his bike that he found. So that was pretty cool. So wish us luck, and hopefully we get out there and do the darn thing. Over and out. We found a couple nice trails that uh, definitely show elk activity. So we're gonna keep pushing through. Um, some snows. So, make it a little soupy, but. Deer track over here. Deer track. Oh, that's good. There's definitely track, but we're gonna push through. Yeah, but I don't know if that's cow or not. It's like a, it's pointy. Yeah, we're gonna be hopeful that it's, yeah. it's like a, no, I'm excited. I'm just trying to be quiet and think about how we're going to do it. And this elevation is killing me. Not only am I a fatty, but now I'm a fatty at like 10,000 feet. A schmutz. Yeah. 
The guy he got me. Um, he kind of looks like semen. Don't say that. He didn't mean that. I meant bread. Well, I think we're almost there, hopefully. But, uh, it's treacherous. Treacherous. This backcountry is ridiculous. Um, I mean, gotta get it done, though. But the thing is, it's like all throughout here, there's print, there's signs. That's it. There's so much poop. So we're gonna keep trucking. Keep on keeping on. We gotta get up that way though. And it wants like, I don't know. I hope we get to this valley soon.
first time out elk like literally the first time elk hunting and we were able to call a bull in so I'm pretty stoked about that and hopefully a cow will fall off that game trail I was literally just talking to Deborah about how that uh, that trail is probably the one to watch and jeez I hope a cow comes around that'd be nice okay back to what I was saying it's getting dark. It's getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> Denver's getting the heebie of his jeebies. Um, we're gonna we're gonna fight it out. We're gonna stay till shooting light. Last minute is a bright day. Can still see plenty. Um, but I don't know how well the cameras are gonna go. But if one comes out, it's still probably gonna shoot, even if it's not great footage. Just being truthful. At least we got to see that one bull tonight. A huge motivational booster because that's we after everything was all said and done, we had like three hours, not even three hours, to go out, and then we hiked for like <sighs> had to have been an hour. That sucked. That was horrible. We're gonna go a different route on the way out. <laughs> Try and make it easier. Deadfall. Yeah, that deadfall is ridiculous. But who knows? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> just jumped so bad. <laughs> I don't get scared. Wait a second, I'm get scared. I don't make noises in the woods. <laughs> Some of the worst elk hunters ever. <laughs> Are you talking to aliens again? Why is it not working? Like prison bitch jump, you're like... <laughs> After seeing all these mom lion videos, oh, I am too. I'm just waiting for one to like latch on and be like, Get the machete! He's gonna poke it in the eye with this stick. So yeah. Might be on to tomorrow. We'll see.